This is Professional Bull Riding World Finals here in Fort Worth, Texas, y'all. Welcome to the Stockyards. What is PBR? <laughs> Professional Bull, bull Riding. riding. We're going to learn what it takes to be a good fan, mm -hmm. what are the rules of this sport, and probably something about a bull's testicles. We know bull about bull. Let's go! The smell that I'm smelling. You're just used to this smell, right? I, I don't know. It sits still crap. We're going to touch the bull. Oh, God. Uh, help. Help. Going in, all we knew was that bull riding was wild and dangerous. But there's more to bull riding than meets the bull's eye. <laughs> okay. We were told bull riding is not merely a sport, but an art where timing, balance, and technique intertwine. Today, we'll go behind the scenes, talk to world-class riders, and most importantly, try to blend in. And to do that, we'll have to talk to the fans. Let's go. Okay, it's my first time at professional bull riding anything, so what made you come today? Um, well, my mom brought me, but of course, the cowboy butts. I love it. What are the things that you like about PBR? Whenever, you know, a rider comes out of the shoot, you know, it's just, it's the atmosphere, it's awesome. You see, just being a fan, you can watch people do stupid things, what we would consider stupid. What is the perfect outfit to wear to one of these events? Because yeah. he has a little bit of an issue. I mean, you can see his shoes right there. Oh. Can you help him well, out? Don't lead the witness, Your Honor. Not skinny jeans. Are these too skinny? <laughs> yes, sir. And maybe a belt buckle. It doesn't have to be big, but something that... Something that draws the eye to my crotch. Yes, yes. That's the yes. point of it all. That is the point of it all. <laughs> now, looking at me, do you think I could fit into this lifestyle? Yeah, absolutely. You look great. Would it help if I had a hat, though? You know, you can do what you want. Yeah. It would, I mean, you look great in one. You know. I always love meeting a fan except when they critique the tightness of my jeans. We, meaning you, clearly needed some authentic Western wear for tonight's main event. Boots, hats, buckles. I looked flawless in literally every single one. Uh, uh yeah. My inner cowboy was becoming my outer me. Okay, stop, no, just, just stop. Hey, what do you think of these? Oh, those are actually really good. Get those ones, those are really I good. I like them, they're, they're a little yeah, drafty, yeah. but that's, that's His whole asshole is out. Joe, Joe. We're in the Bulls house, AKA Bull housing. There's bulls, these are what bulls look like. And I'm here with a human man, Cord McCoy. Hi Cord. Howdy, howdy, good to be here. This is the biggest night in the world for our bucking boys. So we are here before it happens just to get some behind the scenes of these beautiful animal athletes. Is that what they're called? Animal athletes? Yeah, yeah. Animal athletes, yeah, yeah or ju just athletes. How long have you been dealing with bulls? Oh man, sometimes eight seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the smell that I'm smelling. It smells like money, oh. yeah. I was going to describe it differently. I thought it would smell worse. Oh. But are you, you, you're just used to this smell, right? I think you would get used to it. I don't know, it's, it's still crap. What, what, however long you've been here, it's still crap. There's two big misconceptions, you know? I think both of you mentioned the two bis, big misconceptions. And I've been examining their testicles. And <laughs> they're large. That's a key area of, of a misconception, right? We're not yeah. touching the testicles. Nobody in the world, in their right mind, is tying a rope around anybody's balls. And if they did, nobody would jump and kick and spin if they did. Uh, well, I would. It's, it's kind of like putting your belt on and the bulls try to kick it off. But the misconception is to think that your belt, belt's going around your nuts is a, is a long ways. But, uh, well, for some longer than others. But you know you know what I'm saying. You know, they're athletes, but they're our friends. But it's also how we make a living. And, uh, you know, if you, if you don't care for your animals, you know, they're not going to perform for you. Let me ask you, what's a misconception that we haven't talked about that you think might be yeah. worth talking about? There's nothing that you can do to, to make a bull buck. They gotta want a buck. There's nothing you can do to, to make them buck. So you just try to take those ones that like uh, the sport and like to do what they do and, uh, you know, encourage them and take care of them and, uh, you know, feed them good, and give them the, the opportunities that they, they wanna have. You know, most of the time they're they're on the ranch. <clears throat> you know, we've got 413 acres that they get to live on and live out the life. And shoot, they come and work, you know, sometimes three, four seconds, sometimes eight seconds is the longest, and then go back and, you know, eat tall grass and do what they want. I mean, I think they've got they've got the life. It's uh, eight seconds and it starts at 7:45. Okay. 
We will be there. We'll be there. Cord, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Yeah, I will be it. there. Solo will be there. Cliffhanger will be there. Renegade will be there. Tulsa Ooh. will be there. We'll see you there. Testicles. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> we are here with Legend, We're who literally legend. is a legend. How scared are you? I'm okay. I'm not scared. I just don't want to agitate him. He's sort of locked onto us, and I don't know if that's like a good thing. Oh, okay. He doesn't care anymore. Right now, he seems literally so docile, innocent. Yeah. Because Cam was petting him earlier, and he's like a giant puppy. Like, look how cute he is. And then tonight, he's going to be apparently bucking so high up yeah. that his stomach's going to be as tall as this gate, is what I've heard. How many pounds is he? Like a 800? I don't know. Oh, you just made that up. Do you he's think? He has the Chive app. Does he know us? The Chive Oh God! Oh, help! Help! Next stop, PBR's highly anticipated team draft pick. We snagged one of the Austin Gamblers, Zeke Mitchell, for what is undoubtedly his weirdest interview ever. Let's say I know zero things about bull riding, which I do know zero things about bull riding. Yeah. How do you sell someone to come to the games? Ooh. As far as the team series goes. Sorry. Uh, oh, my bad. Uh, we touch tips. Um, Normally we don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. So, sorry. I think that this is an amazing sport that everybody should be a part of one time in their life. This isn't your county fair rodeo that's in your backyard. Uh, there's pyro, there's lights, there's action. Uh, I mean, it's just an all around good time and it's family friendly. So uh, you can bring the whole family out and there's something for everybody. Rules. What, what rule would I want to know? I mean, so the first rule is you got to wrap bulls for eight seconds. Pretty much uh, bulls are scored from one to 50 and we're scored from one to 50 on how good we ride. And uh, uh, that's just the basics of bull riding. <laughs> I'm feeling like a fan. I got eight seconds. I got- That's how also you how long you lasted. <laughs> I told you that was just between us. My question, <laughs> why did you get into bull riding? Uh, I mean, being a cowboy is all I've ever wanted to do in my whole entire life. So uh, to have an opportunity to be uh, putting the Western industry and the cowboy way of life in the forefront and the mainstream media, uh, that's like super important to me because it's been that way my whole entire life. I remember being a kid and not wanting to wear tennis shoes because I only wanted to wear boots, so. When you look at my body, do you think my body could handle the torment that is bull riding? Honestly, You can do whatever you set your mind to. <laughs> now that's a good answer. Well, anyway, we we really appreciate <laughs> anyway, you. We're uh, so sorry. We're uh, sorry about this interview, and we appreciate your time. I'm so and scared right now. I'm so scared. Y'all were scared in the beginning. I'm scared now. Now, now the tips are touching again. <laughs> Hey guys, Cam here. I found this mic and what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around the outside of Dickie's Arena. I don't know where Joe and Aubrey are, but we're gonna go into a bit of a trivia questionnaire here and ask some fans some questions and see what we can find out. Follow us along. All right, and my friends, we found a couple spectators right here outside Dickie's Arena. Where are you guys from actually? We are from France. From France, all the way hailing from France. Do you guys happen to know how long a rider has to stay on a bull? Yeah, I think it's eight seconds. Eight seconds, nailed it. Now what happens if the rider doesn't make it to eight seconds? They do not qualify. That is correct. Where do a rider's hands have to be when on a bull? In front of you. Correct. All righty, now bonus question. What's your favorite bull? Uh, it's gotta be Top Dollar. Top Dollar. Oh, Absolutely is. We're looking forward to seeing Top Dollar tonight. Thank you guys for taking the time. We'll see you guys inside. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. <laughs> we are outside the Dickies Arena. We met the fans. We met the bulls. And now we need to see it all come together. And that's why we gotta go inside and watch the PBR World, World Finals. Finals. Woo, let's go, yeehaw. Why are you walking like that? It's the moment we've all been waiting for, the professional bull riding World Finals. With each eight second battle, the clock ticks, hearts race and legends are born. It's a test of wills, a dance of man and beast, where one misstep can change everything. It's a simple sport. It's one bull, one cowboy, one hand, eight seconds. I think the, the bulls learn the competition uh, is getting the rider off their back. You're not gonna control a 2,000 pound animal. Your job is, as a bull rider is to control your body to match moves with him. So it, it becomes more of a dance. 
Uh, we love our animal athletes and uh, without them, we can't do what we do. We love them to death. You know, the guy that rides the rankest bull and makes the best ride wins the most money. You know, these guys gotta ride eight seconds before they can even get a check to take home to feed their family. It's dangerous, but uh, it's also addictive. As our journey through the captivating world of professional bull riding comes to a close, we reflect on the moments of triumph, the leaps of faith, the unbreakable spirit of the riders, and most importantly, my ability to slay almost any type of hat. But the adventure doesn't end here. It's only the beginning for us. We've become true fans, embraced the culture, and met some cool ass people. Our hometown fellas, the Austin Gamblers, are ready to put on a show next in our backyard. My calendar is marked. And by then, I'll be ready for any bull testicle I may come across. That's beautiful. We'll see you there. Hey guys, we had a bit of too much fun last night. We somehow ended up in the Austin Gamblers RV. Don't know how. Joe, talk please. These PBR fans are unlike any other fan. Oh they, my God. They know how to have a good time. Oh yeah. So thank you, we learned a lot. We're fans. We'll be back, we're officially fans, but I'm getting some coffee. Mm. Joe, your ass is literally at, why are you wearing those? Okay, I'm too, I can, I'm too hung up for this. <laughs>